Good morning, folks. I'm over at Alexandra Gardens again. In the heart of the city here, but it just find it's quite amusing. We're um, in this <coughs> quite a large, well, I wouldn't quite call it a lake, but it's quite a big pond uh, here in Alexander Gardens. But it's just quite interesting. There's a family of they're feral ducks but it's just quite amusing you've got three little ducklings that have um, ventured out of the pond and um, the mother there is just sort of keeping an eye on them and there are there's another little <coughs> excuse me there's another little or oh, two of them over there and they keep looking out up on the grass bank there wondering how their brothers and sisters got up there and um, so the poor mother is frantically trying to guard the three that are up on the grass verge here and at the same time keeping an eye on the two that are still in the pond and there's, <coughs> excuse me, and there's two other duck, uh, female ducks here that I don't know, they just seem to be standing aside like a couple of guards because um, they tend to follow the, the ducklings around this little pond so yeah it's just quite an interest, it's quite, quite amusing the <coughs> You know, a day in a life of uh, ducks on a city pond. Um, he's he's still trying to figure out how his brothers and sisters got up there, but and he's quite getting quite frustrated because he's looking up, but he can't figure out how to get up there. But anyway, that aside, I just noticed over here. <clears throat> um, if I can pick it up oh yeah there we go there is actually a heron oh, I'm not quite sure what heron that is I love the look in my bird book but he's just sitting there Herons don't eat ducklings, but it's just probably either resting or keeping his eye out for, I don't know if there's any small fish in his ponds, I don't really know. Um, but at the same time, I oh know just around here, I've actually got this camera handheld so I'm sorry about the uh, the shaky camera work but um, and also on this little on this little pond in the city there's a pied cormorant sitting over there having a rest So there we have it, surprising the wildlife and the goings on, oh they've all gone back into the pond now, they've had, a, they've had enough on the grass bank and poor mum there is frantically following them, trying to keep an eye on them all, keep her little clutch together. Been sitting here um, watching them rotating around this pond, and she's constantly there trying to herd them up, keep an eye on them. 
Oh dear. And of course you've got the two, I don't know whether, I don't know whether they're her sisters or what, but they're always stay back and follow them around too and just so they're well protected this little clutch so there we are oh that heron's just took off where's he gone oh he's gone on the there's a little island oh, he's disappeared amongst the foes uh, I don't know maybe he's nesting I don't know Oh, there we are. Just a little snapshot of daily life in a little pond in the middle of Melbourne. That's the art centre by the way folks, and that's the Eureka Tower. Nice piece of architecture, but um, I find this a lot more interesting, but anyway, each to their own. <laughs> 